Hi and welcome everyone. Thanks again for joining me on this amazing time and moment in history. Having found structures on the moon, I guess it's been years that many people have been declaring that there are structures on the moon. It's accepting it. What is this pipe that we're seeing right here beside this massive white uh, structure? To the left, uh, we'll see it again. To the left, a sphere-like blue spot round dome like area that comes down with a tunnel white to the left a path all the way down to the center supposed crater but again to the right what is that wall light or pipe tunnel there it is in the brackets here beside this massive white anomaly on the surface of the moon the closer you get around the bigger larger craters in the southern highlands I will show you that there are so many silk-like, string-like objects or corridors or structures, anomalies, whatever you want to call them, that are leaving these craters. Now look at the back, what looks like water flowing or a substance, the pipe here and the structure in the middle. Here again as we zoom up, the first crater in the center here coming up, behind that look at the straight edge and we see like a, tie up, a pipe or tunnel. Look what's flowing. See, to the outer edge there, the white at the back right here. Look, it's like, I'm sorry, it looks like a waterfall. I'm looking at this every time I go on the moon and I'm seeing flow. Here, X-ray with light technique added to the X-ray and magnification technique. Detail, edge, lining, outlining, we can see very easily that there are geometrical shapes on the surface amongst these gray areas that we just really can't see them with the naked eye or the unaided eye. You have to do some kind of enhancement or technique to be able to see them properly. Here a magnification, simple magnifying lens, but in the program, look at the lines and uh, what looks like diagram lines up crisscrosses. These are not pixels, nor are they errors on the photo. They are actually dugout areas for some reason. No matter what it it is, it is not natural. That's for sure. Here again, what looks like substance, bottom right, flowing. Looks coming down a path. I don't do not know what it is, but it does look like a substance. Um, here, beautiful outline again of I guess what they would say is ejecta or a ray system from the lava slow flow which had created these long straight paths uh, on the surface of the moon. Is there water as you're looking at these beautiful photos? Is there water on the moon? What do we know and how much does the world in science wise know about water? on the surface of the moon or inside the moon lunar water does it exist no. uh, looking up lunar water basically that is present on the moon liquid water cannot persist they say at the moon's surface and water vapor is decomposed by sunlight but hold on there is no sunlight in a crater that is in the lower regions and the temperature is probably plunged always, all the time, 24-7, minus 200 to minus 500 degrees. Um, I mean, water can exist. It can be frozen. It can even be liquid inside the frozen water. Um, Russia, the Soviet Luna 24, when they brought back um, the, the probe, contained... Uh, samples and the samples by mass sample 
there was 0.1% water by mass sample. So inconclusive evidence of free water ice at the lunar poles was accumulated from a variety of observations suggesting the presence of bound hydrogen. Hmm. Um, and water vapor, that's another thing, you know, they say it's decomposed by sunlight, but the, the water vapor wouldn't be decomposed by sunlight deep down in the craters, would they not? With hydrogen quickly lost to outer space, they say. Uh, however, scientists have since the 1960s conjectured that water ice could survive in cold, permanently shadowed craters, like I was telling you, at the moon's poles. Water molecules are also detected in the thin layer of gases above the lunar surface. Are there or were there any volcanoes on the surface of the moon? Well, we know for a fact that NASA does confirm having found also in their samples brought back to Earth, rock samples and on the surface of the moon, confirmed 100% magmatic water or juvenile water water that exists within and in equilibrium with a magma or water rich volatile fluid that's derived from magma this magmatic water is released to the atmosphere during a volcanic eruption evidence of past volcanic activity has been found on most planets in our solar system. Most of the volcanic features discovered within our solar system formed millions of years ago, when our solar system was younger and the planets and the moons had much higher internal temperatures. Geologically, recent volcanic activity is not as widespread. Based upon observations from Earth and from space vehicles, only four bodies in the solar system have confirmed volcanic activity. They are 1. Earth 2. Io A moon of Jupiter 3. Triton A moon of Neptune and 4. Enceladus A moon of Saturn Evidence for possible volcanic activity on Mars, Venus and Europa have been observed, but no direct eruption observations have been made. Scientists, I'll break it down for you really basically and quickly. They believe and they say in science, this is what we know, that a giant asteroid or object, celestial object, smashed into the Earth and the impact, the debris that rised into the sky, into the atmosphere, out into space, gathered together and formed the moon. Um, I don't know. These are the channel contributors. This is the force. These people are helping me obtain my dream, our dream, the channel's goal, to get a bigger telescope to show it all to the world. Check out the link in the detail of the video. Everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support, the interest, and taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the channel. We're trying to raise me and the community ten thousand dollars to get a bigger telescope to show it all to the world check out the campaign link that's in the description of this video to see how much support i'm getting